This week's Keeneland Spotlight shines on Tom's Data, a September sales graduate at Keeneland, a grade one winner who just continues to get better with age. Well, the, the brilliance. We were thinking it'd be a second race on the comeback trail and it might be a, almost a B race, even though he was training uh, phenomenal. He hadn't run in two and a half months and that would have been only the second race in seven months. And for him to go out there and do what he did with uh, that type of preparation um, kind of scared us a little bit in a good way. With the 16th to go, it's total domination for Tom's Data. Tom's Data scores by four. Well, it's been great because he's had some continuity in his training. And I think that's what's helped him is he got to string together workouts, gallops, races, and basically got him in, in, in his true form, which we always thought he was a big time horse. And it's, uh, it's amazing at his age, um, and we couldn't be any happier that it's finally coming to the fore. You know, you're always learning this game, uh, no matter how old you are, at least I am, trying to at least. This horse does not need much, even though it's a big 1,200 pound animal. He's so balanced and athletic. But what he did on Saturday with his easy preparation that we put into him, um, that tells me we're basically in, in maintenance mode. He had kind of one strong three quarter mile work, maybe you can see on PPs, whatever date that was, about three weeks before the race. And, and it was something to behold. And after I saw that, we just went into, you know, keeping him even, even keel. It helped us design uh, our year going back to uh, the end of 19. Seth Hancock and I did the same thing at the end of 09 with Blaine, known at the Breeders' Cup was at Churchill. And uh, what it did was it, it, it made us just completely eliminate uh, Saudi and Dubai and Pegasus and things like that, uh, knowing that we could just um, run at a track that uh, is our home away from home, so to speak. And uh, we had a very good race over there in Fayette. Basically three of us. Uh, Frank Wooten, his wife Daffy Wooten, uh, out of the camp in South Carolina, myself. They do the grinding, short listing. Uh, they're ex jump people, tremendous horsemen. They know what they're doing. They, they, they've got a good feel for the horses. Our budget, Mr. Benson gave Tom Amos 400, Dallas 400,000, myself 400,000. And I didn't know what he would quite bring. And as we were creeping up to the 250s, 275, 300, I'm saying to myself, well, I'm getting ready to blow it all in one fell swoop like a, like a teenager with his allowance. So uh, 330 most probably was kind of right at the end of our number because uh, we just didn't want to do it. But we liked him so much, uh, we were happy to drop the hammer at 330, and obviously it's worked out. On behalf of the entire team at Keeneland, we want to congratulate the connections of Tom's Data. We look forward to having them at Keeneland for the Breeders' Cup Classic on November 7th. And we also look forward to have the connections back for the upcoming September sale, as well as you, as it kicks off on Sunday, September 13th.